that he Lord went with. Judith Kotzer had taken many leaps of faith in her life. Now an even bigger one presented itself. The desire to be married and to have it sanctioned in a church. If I am with what is captured here about my, my journey with Surita that was already seven years in, into it before we got married. And I could have it officially not just my commitment in a private space but public that if something happens to Sirita, I'm a next of kin. If she lands in hospital, somebody can't tell me you're not a life partner. But I'm getting married because God has provided for me and now it can be also fully in the public and in the church with my family, my friends, my colleagues being invited to be with us on that day. What did she stand to lose by making this choice, by taking this leap? She risked everything she believes in. She risked her, her integrity in, in the church in some parts. She risked the, the love of a family, which is extremely important. Not only the pain, but the risk of losing everything um, on the other side for one love. That is, that, is, that is immense. For my dad, it was difficult. Um, I remember quite distinctly when he said, um, in my frame of mind, I can accept that you are in a steady relationship, that you are good friends with your partner, because I can find no fault with that. But that's as far as I'm prepared to think about it. I cannot go beyond that. He's not against it. But for him, marriage isn't same-sex marriage. But if Surita's parents are going to be that, and they, my mother and father is not there, he didn't want the empty chairs to bring a message that says he's rejected us. So then he'll rather come, even although he doesn't know how to celebrate. chapel, all of us entering with Jesus, joy of man's design, my mother playing, Jesus, joy of man's desire. My father at the end being the witness with Surita's father. I think for my parents it was as much a rite of passage, an experience that normalized, that gave the experience that it's not how we think it is. And for me it was a, what a gift to have them there. Papa. I think my mother would say that God's uh, creation and God's love is more than what she uh, thought possible. So it opened her heart and mind to something so different and scary and to find peace that, that that's part of the mystery of God's creation. Since March 2008, I've been privileged to be the representative, not only from the state, but according to Christian rights. It's by being married myself and seeing what happens by going through the marriage ceremony, that you think you know what it is, you don't. You, something happens when you have it. And now I can work with same-sex couples that want the ritual to honor the presence of God and have their families for the first time have a way to see in the marriage ritual, see the love for what it is. All the important strands in Judith's life have finally come together. God, love, and family. That's the fascinating thing about our Afrikaner people is we can be very rigid, but at the same time, we can be very flexible when it comes to, to family and loyalty. And, uh, and uh, I think loyalty and family, that ties, 
uh, eventually surpassed moral convictions. And love prevailed. That's the beautiful thing. Thank you.